Thank you. If with a stroke I could say everybody should just do what James Cameron has elected to do, eat plants, <laughs> we can get by very well on a diet of plants. Or if you eat animals, be mindful of what the cost is, not just to that animal or those animals, but to the system from which it has come. It's a big price tag on a wild animal that we just don't account for. We account for fish as dollars and cents in the ocean with a zero accounting base. It's, that's when they started calling me the Sturgeon General uh, at NOAA, when I began making comments like that. They, you know, you, they think the fish are free. Not, unlike farmers that have to pay for the land and they, they value every bit of their investment. Never mind that a lot of agriculture and farming is subsidized, so is fishing. It's on the order of between 40 and 50 billion dollars a year and that's probably somewhat of an understatement when you think that the fisheries agencies, including the billion dollars that the United States puts into the National Marine Fisheries Service that is intended to support fisheries, the extraction of... It must be the fishing industry. <laughs> you know, and I'm not anti-fisherman. I mean, I, I really... I've grown up in an era where I, you know, I used to eat fish and I have a lot of friends who are fishermen. <laughs> it's just that now we know. And once you've got your, the information in your head, you can't just take that information away. I can't eat fish anymore. I know too much. I just can't do it. I know the real cost of making a cow and I've known a lot of nice cows. <laughs> I'd rather not eat them, thank you very much, because I just value them as what they are. And, and it's just, it's just, if everyone could know what Cameron has discovered, what I've discovered, what is there to be discovered, you might be inclined to change your ways too. It's not only better for them and for the planet, it's better for you, it turns out. Uh, as Colbert said famously, you know, how am I going to get my mercury if I don't eat tuna? <laughs> oh, but, but all these creatures in the sea are putting into their systems are things you don't want in yours, and it starts back with us. We have so loaded the ocean with contaminants that make their way up the food train, and the phrase that scientists use is bioaccumulation. So it starts out small here, but the older the fish, the higher up the food chain, the greater the amount of stuff they accumulate that you'd really rather not have in you. If you knew, the whales that are dedicated carnivores, they're fish eaters, and they eat well at various levels of the food chain, but they accumulate over, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80 years or more, and every step of the way, you know, they get more of it, and it stays in the system, it stays, and so it isn't smart to eat whales as the Japanese are finding out, <laughs> and others over the years, but we didn't know this until right about now. Right now, you know, in this era, the last few decades, we've learned more than all preceding history put together. So let's act on that knowledge. We're, we're sort of weighted down with policies that were developed, even laws, when we didn't know what we now know. So let's fix it. Let's be armed with with the evidence and act on the evidence and make better choices individually as well as as nations. No, I think that I agree with it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Is that a yes? Yes. 